So in this video I'm going to show you how to take um, time-lapse footage and encode it into a video. So we use the Raspi still command to actually take all the individual stills. So the first thing we need to do is to run the Raspi still with the minus O switch using a percentage in there to increment the, um, the timestamp on it. And then we're going to use the minus T switch to um, say how long it would actually run for. Um, and the minus TL is the time-lapse so how um, many seconds between milliseconds between each each picture that's taken so we're going to need to create a directory where we can store all of our images and then we're going to quickly change into that directory and we'll run that command um, to actually take all of those images and run that for two hours we're going to add um, a space ampersand at the end which will um, send the uh, command running in the background so we could actually shut down our SSH session and it will still run in the background if you run the command ps space minus aux and then pipe that into the grep command with raspi still as our filter we can see the process id there and that's running um, so we know what's happening in the background so we come back after a couple of hours and we go to our um, directory and we run ls minus l and we can see in there there's normally around a couple of thousand pictures that have been taken so now we have all those photos we need to install some video encoding software, um, we're going to use mEncoder, um, that will allow us to actually install that. So just simply run sudo apt-get install mEncoder, and um, once that software is installed we will be able to actually um, take all of those individual images and encode that into an mp4 uh, video file. So we need to create a reference file that M Encoder can use to um, find all the stills um, which it knows to write into the video file. So if we use ls space um, star.jpg and then we redirect that into the stills.txt file and we just um, have a look at that, we can see that a list of all of our images are in there sequentially. So this is the command you have to run uh, to actually encode your video which is incredibly long and I'll put this into the description field. Um, but basically what it does, it takes those images, it stores them into an MPEG-4 and it encodes them at um, 24 frames per second. So if you have any problems where your SSH session drops out and the video encoding stops, um, I'd recommend uh, to do it via the desktop, so plug in a keyboard and mouse or um, over VNC um, and it generally tends to be a lot more reliable when you do it like that. And then once it's finished, if you just do an ls, and then you can just do a uh, star.avi, and you'll see the um, .avi file there, um, which is a container for the mp4 file. So if you're anything like me, your first chance uh, to do some um, time-lapse photography will basically be uh, on a rubbish rainy day, and you'll get some rubbish results. But hopefully on um, much more sunny days, you get something that looks nice like that. Some other things that you can possibly do are, um, these are the images were actually taken on my Android phone but were encoded on the Pi. Today of me and my little boy uh, in the garden playing with some snow. I um, put my Pi into my car one day and used it to, um, to drive from work to home. And uh, here's a video of last weekend of me and the missus painting the garage door which we thought was good to, to do in the, um, the time lapse photography. So there's some good things you can play with and I'd love to see some of the results you guys get out of this. So if you like my videos, uh, please like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and you can subscribe to the YouTube channel to get all the latest videos that I've done.